Hey YouTube, Shelka04 here. So, make America great again. That's a term we've been hearing a lot about for the last two, maybe two and a half years. Fact is, I don't think that's going to happen. We're never going to make America great again. And here's why. First off, I don't think there's any consensus as to what the term make America great again actually means. If you ask one person what does make America great again mean, they're going to say making it white making it all white, going back to some pre-Civil War something or other. Ask somebody else, what does MAGA mean to you? And they're going to say it means getting, going back to a time, an easier, simpler time before technology, before phones and bullying and sitting on the couch and uh, swiping and liking and all of that. Ask a third person, what does MAGA mean? And they're going to say it means when we were really churning out stuff, when we were producing to our heart's content and life was good and we were exporting. As I said, none of that's going to happen. Okay, so why? First off, because our people want $15 an hour and we can't compete with the Chinese or other countries in that area who are only paying their people $1 a day. $1 a day, $15 an hour does not compute. Second off, we're not developing anything anymore. It's not like we're like, oh my God, we could really make America great again if only everybody had a flying car. We're not developing things like that. At best, we're developing apps. Uh, we're developing services. We're developing things like that. We're not developing tangible things anymore, which is one of the reasons you should be concerned about the stock market. Uh, if the stock market isn't being backed by tangible things that we're currently developing, then it's just a Ponzi scheme. So, so think about that. So why else are we going to make America great again? Because first off, it's a hell of a lot easier to run an existing company than it is to start a new one. Meaning, if you wanted to put a factory over there, there are all kinds of permits and regulations and paperwork and zoning and bullshit that you would have to go through in order to get uh, that running. So it would be a lot easier than to buy something that's pre-existing. The problem is, in our travels... For the last four years, I have seen a lot of buildings, or foundations actually, that have been torn down. So the mill is not there anymore. The old plant is not there anymore. The factory is not there anymore. Maybe the parking lot is. Maybe the fence is. Uh, maybe part of the foundation is. But the fact of the matter is, you're not going to walk into some place like the old Packard plant in Detroit and turn that into a new T-Fal or new Calphalon cookware uh, manufacturing facility. Uh, the fact of the matter is, there's just too much startup uh, capital required to do that. So we're not going to be able to do that. Thirdly, uh, or fourthly or whatever, is the idea that we're just basically losing it to the Chinese. Uh, people don't care here. Uh, there, there's, no, there's no eye of the tiger. There's no uh, incentive. There's no anger. There's no, let's do this. Let's make America great again. Uh, we're all just sitting around on our asses hoping that somebody else will do it. And the fact of the matter is nobody else is doing it. Uh, so I guess that's it. You know, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Any thoughts? I welcome them. But as far as making America great again, it's not going to happen. I guess the best we can hope for is just making America mediocre. Ponder that. Talk to you later. Shell go for out. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.